When someone says that no one comes to faith through arguments, I have two responses. Number one, that's simply false, biblically speaking. If you look at scripture, specifically Acts 17, uh, you have Paul going into the synagogue in verses uh, 2, 3, and 4. He goes into the synagogue, he reasons and gives evidence for Jesus, and then the text says that some people are persuaded and they join Paul. And so here we have an example of Paul giving evidence and using reasoning and giving arguments for Jesus and people are persuaded. So it just seems to be false, biblically speaking. But then secondly, it's also false just from experience. We can look at different examples of people who have come to faith through arguments. So you look at someone like C.S. Lewis. You look at someone like Lee Strobel, Josh McDowell, J. Warner Wallace, and there may be other people that we could point to, friends and family that you and I have, that we could say, look, these people, uh, God used arguments in their lives to bring them to faith. And so it's simply false experientially, and we have people who tell us this. So it's simply not true that people don't come to faith through arguments. Now, I think what may be behind this is that people want to say, well, it's not the argument that brings people to faith. It's the Holy Spirit. And my response is, of course. <laughs> the argument is just one of the means that the Holy Spirit uses to bring people to faith. But if you're going to say that, then we're going to have to also say um, proclaiming the gospel uh, never brings anyone to faith. Hearing the gospel is not responsible for bringing people to faith. Loving people and meeting their needs doesn't bring them to faith. There's nothing that brings people to faith then, including arguments and all of these other things. No, it's the Holy Spirit that brings people to faith. True. We, we, okay, let's agree with that. But once we've established that, we can realize that it's the Holy Spirit who uses all these different things. So it's the Holy Spirit who uses a loving community. It's the Holy Spirit who uses the preaching of the gospel. It's the Holy Spirit who uses arguments to bring people to faith. Without God, without his spirit, nothing works. But with the Holy Spirit, many things work.